Hello, son. Hello, father. <laughs> All right, see where we at, bro? <laughs> we are at Hidden Falls. Hidden Falls. I don't know what this is. My second hike, so we're just gonna go out for a hike. I know it's super random, it's a car channel, but we're gonna go ahead, stay a little healthy. Being healthy is kind of important. And then, uh, as soon as we finish up with here, we'll head home, take a shot, and head straight to the shop. Never thought I I wouldn't come down here, but uh... Alright guys, we are officially home. Pretty much just getting a few things done here. I need to print out the decal for the intercooler and then we're gonna head out. I'm probably actually gonna bring all my decaling stuff over there so I can just get to work over there. So I can get it to you guys as soon as possible. So a lot of you guys have been submitting orders and just haven't had the time to get them out because I'm not as home as much anymore. So I'm gonna start taking all my stuff down to the shop, get it done for you guys over there. Speaking of which, if you guys wanna get some decals, check it out down below, first link. But without further ado, let me go ahead and finish up these decals and then we'll head out straight to the shop. Just got a few things for the shop, an air filter. We are ready to go, right? Yep. Let's head out. All right, guys, we're finally here at the shop. Um, I gotta fix my tray. Yeah, it's still messed up. Oh, oh I sounded mint. So How you feeling, buddy? So Same, dude. It's, I'm, oh my God. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, the ride here was an absolute pain in my booty. So me and Jonathan basically were experiencing the tray scraping the entire ride here. Let's go ahead and jack this car up and pull that tray out because uh, I'm pretty sure that tray is no longer usable. I don't really personally care about trays. I actually wanna remove all of them. So when we do exhaust work, when we do engine work, when we do like cat work or any of that kind of stuff, we don't have to keep removing the tray and putting it back on. It's an absolute pain. Yeah, it prevents you from seeing your leaks, but that also means you, you're, you're putting yourself in a worse situation. Because if the leak is bad, figure it out, man. Anyways. Well, excuse me, sir. Thank you. Going? going pretty well. Let's turn on the magical LED lights. Hey. This guy. Every time. So for now guys, go ahead and jack up the car and I'll show you guys the damage. Bring you guys down here. That is what's going on here. I don't know if you guys can see the tray. Literally just sagging. Hold up. Yeah, see that? Oh my god. Let's get this tray off because uh, it looks pretty much destroyed at this point. Looks like we are finally good to go on that. So everything has been removed that was dangling. Uh, hopefully nothing else starts dangling. I went ahead and screwed that back in. I screwed that over there. So the only thing we're missing now is the middle pan and this front pan. The front pan is perfectly fine. The middle pan is destroyed. So I'm gonna have to find, not the pan, but the under guard. So I'm gonna have to find a new guard for that. That's a, it's a stupid mistake. I should have realized that one would come off if I took this one off with the wind hitting it. Didn't really think that one through, so that's my mistake. That's fine. They're not too expensive, but I'm not actually gonna be looking to get one right now. I don't really care much for it. Once we get the lift in the garage, then I'm gonna start looking to finding another one because it'll be super easy to install and just match where the screws go and I can make it work or whatever. As of now, guys, just go ahead and remove this bumper because then we got you removed the intercooler and start putting in the new intercooler. We're gonna paint it and do all that cool stuff. So it's gonna look pretty badass. We're trying to make it look really badass. So uh, let's remove the bumper to do that. So guys, when I got this car, I noticed that this right here is a little bit morphed. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it looks a little weird, you guys can see. It doesn't look right. It looks like it's been clearly repainted. Um, also right here, that's pretty clear. Up here, it's like wavy, so I don't know what's going on there. And then also, this is pushed in. So coming to look at this side, we're gonna try to see if we can see any damages. This hood latch wasn't working. This bolt is rusted out, which is kind of weird because normally these bolts are not supposed to rust out, like this one. So I don't know, did the damage really go this far? But if it did, how come all this is good and the hood latch got damaged? That's what I'm kind of wondering. The hood doesn't look like it's been repainted, doesn't look dented at all. Looking at the headlight, the mounting all looks perfect. Looking over here, nothing seems broken. So, oh, here we go. So that is slightly cracked. It's no big deal. 
but and also this is slightly damaged but um other than these two everything else all that stuff looks good so that leads me to think we are good and it looks like the damage in the front was very minor and I'm not too worried about it. I guess now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and drop this intercooler so we can go ahead and try to remount the new intercooler. As one of the screws in the intercooler got stripped, I don't know how, so I tried drilling it out and it's not coming out. The one right there. That really sucks, but anyways, that's life. Let's go get a screw extractor and then uh, some copper paint. Because I think copper would be pretty sick on the intercooler. This is black with copper. I think it looks pretty cool. And then maybe get some coffee because uh, me and Jonathan are super tired. We woke up really early today. Let's go ahead, pick up the screw extracting tool, hope we can get this thing out, and then uh, install the new intercooler. We already got the new paint, so I'm pretty hyped on that. We're actually just gonna put CSF, or thinking about hashtag save BMW, since our plates are gonna be saying save BMW. I think it's a little bit too much. We're gonna have decals and all that. So let's just get a, uh, let's just put CSF. It's, cool. it's a pretty cool, it's a good brand, you know what I mean? Guys, I cannot believe it works. So I have my uh, screw extractor. I put it in there after drilling a hole up there. And uh, check this out. Oh shit, this whole thing's gonna fall probably. All right, I'm gonna sit y'all down. But you guys can see the screws coming out. My goodness, I'm so excited. There we go, guys. Old intercooler out. Let's go ahead and get the new one in. Let's go ahead and paint the new one and get that one in. I'm super hyped. I want to show you guys the color we want with that. These gonna be so sick. So I've seen a lot of people online go with the Nardo gray and like this baby blue theme, which I really like. For me, I'm thinking about going with black and copper. I think it's a pretty cool little elegant look. I was gonna, I'm gonna be going with a lot more copper on this car than black, but I want to go with those two colors. Like that'd be super sick. I've already picked out the wrap. I'm not gonna lie on you guys. Car is gonna be wrapped soon. Just waiting on the front bumper and the rear bumper since mines are both messed up. And then I'm gonna be hopefully either fixing that quarter panel or getting something to put over it not too sure yet without further ado let me set you guys up and let's go ahead and start painting the new intercooler i'm pretty hyped intercooler right here by csf shout out to keys motorsports for hooking it up like one of the best quality intercoolers i've ever seen let's go ahead and pull her out and uh, show you guys what we're going to be doing to this it involves this guy so uh, basically how this is gonna be mounted, you're only gonna be able to see this bottom portion. So what I'm gonna do, go ahead and do is lay out exactly how it is. I guess they do this exactly, like they make it perfect so easy for, for people to actually paint this thing. So we're gonna line it up like that. We're gonna go ahead and tape it. We're probably even gonna mask off the sides to make sure we don't get any overspray. And then we're gonna go ahead and spray CSF on this. I think it's gonna look super dope. But before I do, just to make sure I'm spraying the right half, I'm gonna go ahead and just, just quick test this thing to see how it's gonna fit. So you guys can see there's a tab right here uh, next to this little plastic Thing. People normally disconnect this and then drop this entire piece here. Um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut it right here so I can actually keep that plastic tab to hold this upper radiator support. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it right there. I'll show you guys how it looks when I actually cut it out. You don't really need this thing. You're probably never gonna need it again, so you can throw it out. It doesn't matter, you can cut it, you can take it off so you can reuse it. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it because I'm never gonna use it again. Super hyped for this, guys. I'm super. This color is insane. I'm so CSF, guys. Like, Dude. what the hell? This isn't even like a joke. <laughs> looks so this good. Is so sick. That moment you actually have like real but not China parts. <laughs> Shout out to Keys. Shout out to Keys. I man. love them. Dang. Ooh, that looks so good. Hopefully, it shows on the black, though. And yeah, we'll blow a few coats. Bro, that actually looks so good. You like it? Dude, that looks fire. Oh my God. This color is fire. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do, so it also looks a bit better, so you can actually clearly see the CSF. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this grill. I'm gonna keep it just in case I wanna reuse it, but let's just, let's just go ahead and take it off. Yeah. Just removed the little grill cut out. Oh my God, it's literally it smiling. So it is waiting for the beast. For Dude, the look beast at that color. Things. Look at that! Don't look! Don't look at my hands! Look at the color! Oh my God, Johnny! It looks so good. You know, I need to clean my hands, Devon. It's not the personal. No, I'm kidding. Imagine. <laughs> You'd be so pissed. I can imagine cringing behind the camera right now. <laughs> All right, guys. So while I'm waiting for that to dry up, Jonathan had a brilliant idea, saying, "Yeah, to match 
this bar V brace with the CSF. Oh I think that my god. Sick, this looks so sick. Let's, go, let's, let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's, do it. let's go ahead and remove this. I think to remove this, just there's a bolt here yeah. on both sides. Both sides and then there is and these two? I think it's this, these two, yeah. Yeah, these two. So just four bolts. Let's go ahead and just try to get that thing out. All right, All right guys, so Jonathan just went ahead and removed the V-brace. So we're just gonna go ahead and sand it and uh, should be good to go. I mean, side sheet's not too bad, actually. It's so not it's too bad. It's easy to sand it. Maybe we'll just do like a fine sand. That's yeah, it. I mean, no, probably just 800 grit. Yeah. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, dear God. I mean. <laughs> we kind of messed up. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. I mean, from a distance, you can't really tell on camera. Like, no no lie. I don't, I don't think. Just paint the whole thing. No paint all orange. I think if it's all orange, it still look really sick. I mean, it's up to you. I think it would look cool. Oh man, I I, I messed with that heavily. Um, I oh, messed with it heavily. Hopefully and we, we have, have some black paint over there too. Yeah, that's so true. Let's go ahead and paint the whole thing. Yeah. Gold. Copper. 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 Yeah. We went ahead and did. It just, we went ahead and just repainted the whole thing in uh, the copper, and then we're just gonna put CSF in black. So we're gonna go ahead and give this 30 minutes to dry, just to be safe, and then we're gonna go ahead and do it in black. I think it's gonna be sick. All right, guys, we're just gonna dry it off right now, and then we're gonna go ahead and paint it. Ooh, that's good to wee. go. Let's go ahead and see if it can start. Hope we don't scratch it. Oh man, dude, it looks so good though. What the heck? Yo, oh my All god. Right, let's start this thing in, let's dude. put this bolts in, and we're good to go. For show. <laughs> Dude, this thing looks so sick. What the heck? Look at that, guys. Holy cow. Now we just gotta wait for Nora with the intercooler. I have an idea. Um, so the problem with the, the actual cardboard, our problem is like right here. This thing, the, the paint was getting behind it, it's too thin. For this, for the C, you guys were able to see it perfectly, um, but for this, it's too thin. So yeah. what we think we're gonna do is put some t uh, tape back here, some double-sided tape or some, you know, masking tape, and uh, just just make, stick it to the actual yeah. intercooler itself and then paint over it in black. I actually think this happened for a reason because this looks so much That looks much so much better, honestly. Yeah, with just black text, I think it'd be so sick. So I think it happened for a reason, and hope to God this is gonna work out right here. Hope. Just gonna go ahead and set it down, line it up. That is Dang. so much better, dude. Look at that. I don't get yeah, that's, that's much better. This looks so guys, much better. First, this comes out well. Now, before you keyboard gods become like just all over the keyboard, you'd be like, oh my gosh, this is, why'd you paint it? It's gonna reduce airflow. So I actually looked up painting an intercooler doesn't really significantly reduce airflow. It does it just a little bit. I mean, come on. I like to also make my cars look good. This is a performance intercooler. So maybe just a little bit less is not gonna be the end of the world. That's perfectly fine with me. If this intercooler comes out looking beautiful and it matches pretty much the theme I'm going with, that's something I really wanna prioritize with. I want my photos to look sick. I want, I want this whole car to look sick at the end of the day. So yeah, that's the reason I'm doing it. I'm not recommending, if you guys don't want to do it, then don't do it. But I mean, for me personally, that's something I like. And yeah, maybe it affects it very minusculely, but it, again, it's a performance intercooler. I'll be just fine. It's more than enough. And this is a massive intercooler. Dude, that came out okay, that looks way come better. Right oh, my. oh my god, okay, oh my that god. looks way better. <laughs> dude. No way, dude. <laughs> That came out sick. Oh that my god. Now you sick. can actually see it in person yeah. and on camera. Dude, that, oh, you see guys, this is what I mean. Like, yeah, a little bit of minor airflow sacrifice, but check that out. Just take a look dude, at it. Dude, look how take good a look it looks. At it. Oh my goodness. And tell dude. me that doesn't look nice. My god, John. Look. <laughs> you ready oh. to install this? Oh my god. Let's give it a little bit more time to dry before my, my little for noodles touches the inner cooler and mess up the paint, but oh my god, I'm hyped. Guys, like, <laughs> I'm so hyped. I don't think Dude. you guys under, guys, oh my lord. The amount of things that's gonna be down, done to this car and just little details like this, oh my, and for those of you guys who didn't watch the last video, come here. I mean, just little things like this. Shout out to Keys Motorsports, I love you guys so much. Take a look at it, Jonathan. 
Oh Look at that. God. That, that small fiber, little accent changes everything. Like, I, I, the fact that I have carbon fiber up there just is, oh my lord, details matter. Especially, I'm gonna be ending up trying to make this kind of like a show car and a performance car. It's gonna be trying to like the all-in-one car. I'm dumping a whole bunch of money into this. I'm partnering with a lot of companies with this. So if you guys, if you guys are ready for a build that I'm going all out in, smash that like button. Cause I, I, I ain't. This is the build, this, dude. This is the build that I'm gonna be broke. All right, if you guys saw the M3 I went broke, I'm going to be ultra broke. Oh my God, dude. But again, you shout out to Keys Motorsports because they are helping me not become broke sooner than later. They said? Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. I don't even know. <laughs> All right, guys. Tell me. Tell me. Just tell me. Lie to me. Lie to my face. Tell me this isn't beautiful. Oh my Lord. John. It looks so good. Johnny, oh my oh. Lord. Hold the light real quick. Dang, dude. Oh my god. All right, guys, first time looking at it without the grill, I, it just feels like something is majorly missing. I mean, like, I see the grills are here, and you can see the accent in the back. It just feels like something is not connecting these two together, and I don't know, it just looks kind of off for me. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the grill again and see if it makes a big difference. If not, and it covers up most of the intercooler, then I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. All right guys, so this is how the front end is looking right now. Look at the accents. Oh my lord. I'm just gonna go down to Napa real quick, return that, because I never, I didn't even use it. And uh, oh my god. And then we'll, we'll button a few things up. Then we'll head back, we'll button a few more things up. It's pretty much, the front end is pretty much done. I have a cabin air filter, I wanna replace that because the AC smells like baloney schmoney. And then uh, we'll see if we do anything else. But uh, let's just go down to Napa real quick. Guys, just look at it. Oh my, I just love that color. All right, I need to calm down. Calm down, Nor. You need to start doing some maintenance. So we gotta go ahead. Um, the package just came in, so we gotta do in the cabin air filter replacement. I think it's underneath the glove box at the passenger side, so let's go ahead, lower the car so it'll be easier for me to do it and get that replaced. Pulled the old one out. It looks really bad. Like, look at all that. That looks so bad. I don't know if you guys can see all that stuff, that gunk. Guys, look at the difference. Like, one looks black, one looks white. Oh my lord. That's terrible. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and install the new one. And just like that, New filters in. I bet you the AC is gonna smell a whole lot better. It was smelling like baloney, I'm telling you. Like, whenever someone sits inside the car, they're like, what's up with your AC? I'm like, I don't know, man. And I really didn't even think about it's a cabin air filter, clearly. I've never had to replace it before because I've never had a car with that bad of a cabin air filter. But I'm guessing that's the same exact cabin air filter that's been in this car for the last 150,000 miles. That's absolutely insane. You guys heard me right, 150,000 miles, 146, it's about to 147 because your boy's dailying it, kind of insane. But yeah, it drives like a dream. The turbos are absolutely fine for those of you guys who are asking how's the turbo life. I swear, it literally, I feel like, it feels like a brand new car. I swear, I don't even know. Like, I think he's been driving in eco mode this entire time, because it, it literally is a joy to drive with no issues, fingers crossed. But yeah, guys, check the details out. I think that looks absolutely insane. Shout out to Jonathan for the idea on those, the V-brace. I think that looks so good. It complements each other so well. If you guys are wondering where I got this in, this cool intercooler from, the charge pipe, any of that stuff, check out the links down below. Shout out to Keys Motorsports once again. They are helping support the channel and helping us build this car. If you guys are as thankful as I am, just check them out down below. Anyways, I'm super hyped. If you guys are, we, got a, we have so many more mods coming in. It's absolutely insane. So make sure to smash that like button if you guys wanna see more of the 435. I know the 128 is getting a rear bumper, a conversion in the rear. So I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is. So I'm gonna be doing that hopefully in the near future as well. Without further ado, you guys, make sure to smash that like button. I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cause I wanna have worth.